ain't gonna be trading one drug for another one, so I don't want that. Okay, but with that hard condition of yours, you will. Take this ball for me, you can't. come on. Take the ball, then. Take the ball. Ha! Oh, you too slow. through, huh? That's good. No, most guys don't. <coughs> that shit is a mother. I know it. I've been there, too. Believe me. That shit don't know no color line. Hey, goat, man. You sign this for me? <clears throat> what is it? It's my copy of the city game. I didn't exactly play basketball, but I was a pretty good man. You know what I'm talking about, do you? That's okay. It's a bestseller. Some people say it's the best book ever written on, on basketball. And there's a whole chapter in here about you. It says you're the best that ever was. I'm gonna leave this with you. Take a look. I'll come back and get it after my shift's over. Maybe, maybe write something to me? Jot down something cool? Fortunes that have claimed so many young athletes in the ghetto. It may seem almost impossible to select one man and give him special importance. And in the stories and traditions that are recounted in the Harlem parks, one figure does emerge above the rest. Asked about finest athletes they have seen scores of ball players in a dozen parks mention Connie Hawkins and Lou Alcindor and similar celebrities, but almost without exception, they 
They speak first of one star who didn't go on. Oh, man, it go. No, 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 no. We always gotta ask who it is first. Who is it? Um, it's Earl. Tell me, what do you want? Can I have some Cheetos? No. I told you you have to wait till after dinner. Oh. Come on, Yvonne, let the boy have some chips. Don't. Don't, don't do that. He needs to understand when I say no, it's no. Well, look, you pick that up off the floor and go wash your hands for dinner. I didn't mean to snap at you. It's been a long time, Earl. I've been doing all this on my own. I just can't have you drop in here thinking you could pick up where you left off. Yvonne, I ain't trying to do that. I... I just came by here to see how y'all were. They stop uh, serving food in the joint. You can't be no more than a buck five. <laughs> Look, uh, let's go upstairs and wrap. You know, I've been thinking a lot about the park, man. That place used to be so special, man. I remember the first time I came through that gate and saw a hawk, Kimbrough, and Sherm, Diego. Hey, man, ain't no use in and looking back. I mean, shit goes down. Just shake it off and move on. Yeah, I know. And, LeGrand, you've been saying that since I've known you, man, but it just ain't like that for all of us, man. Can't everybody just get over it? I mean, I don't, I don't even know if we should really be trying to get over it. I mean, that's our past. You know, that's that's who we are. Maybe it's good to see you go, but um, what's all this about, man? I, I got business I got to get back to. Actually, I got some business I need to take care of, too. How much you looking for? It ain't that kind of business, though. That's the only kind of business we got. No, man, see, you got something else that I need. What's that? I want the park back, LeGrand. <laughs> you serious? You want the park? <laughs> well, uh... I mean, what's the junkie gonna do with a park? I mean, because that's what you are. Cause you're a washed up, good for nothing junkie. I don't care how much jailhouse bullshit you come in here slinging. You run to me when you need a.